Hey there, Brian Kennedy here from IFA. Really excited to be here with uh, Congressman Glenn G.T. Thompson. This is our first time with you, and uh, we're really happy to get to know you. Thank you for your time today. Uh, we, uh, we just want to kind of tell, uh, tell our members who are your constituents just a little bit more about you and uh, you know what makes you tick. So yeah, we're, my pleasure. Thanks for, thanks for doing this. Yeah, this is, yeah, uh, this is cool. going to be great. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going to ask you some really hard-hitting questions, oh, yeah. and uh, I know you're yeah. used to it. Yeah. We're going to start with a really hard one, Sure. and that's uh, uh, the movie about your time in Congress. Okay. Uh, which actor do you think would portray you? Uh, well, you know, if I had my pick. Bruce Willis. You know, somewhere between this movie, uh, The Last Boy Scout, that's me, been a scouting since I've been 11, and Die Hard. You know, because uh, it, you feel a little bit beaten up the way Bruce Willis is at the end of the week when you're down here in Washington doing battle, trying to work for good policy and serve the people back home. So, um, you know, based on a couple of his flicks, I, that, would, that would be pretty cool. Bruce Willis would be just the greatest Member of Congress, I think, of all time. So he, that's he, he would. And Die Hard's a Christmas movie, too. There, I, there you go. The one version is, there's no yeah. doubt about it. You know, you, you represent the largest geographic district in Pennsylvania. I What's that right. like? And you, you go out and, and to, to visit uh, small businesses, like many of your members, yeah. uh, which is kind of cool to be able to do and to be able to hear what their concerns are and, and what they're dealing with. Um, uh, what are the issues related to, to government? And then uh, I always challenge them. I always push them because I, I love to hear people's issues and concerns, but I want to know what I want to know what their solutions are too. Sure. I call those call those homegrown solutions and they're effective at, at taking that back from uh, from those folks and, and, and putting it into legislation. That's great. And so speaking of those small business owners in your district, how do you feel franchising in particular plays a role uh, in your district? Oh, so many different ways. Uh, first of all, it provides it, it provides a pathway to entrepreneurship. You know, because uh, when you're you know as a, having that franchise, you're, you you've got a known product, um, and you have um, and you have tools. You know, you have you have marketing tools. You have you know uh, resources, uh, kind of a, a roadmap on how to be successful in that line of business. So. Um, I'm very appreciative of, of this industry. Uh, uh, as um, you know, someone who uh, has a son in the army, I know a lot of his colleagues. Uh, they this is a direction they go in when they get out of the military. They yeah. reach out, they look at the different brands that are out there that are available to franchise and yeah. and to be able to kind of uh, hit the road running. And but it's good good for all. And, and, and these small business owners are the heart and soul of our communities. You know, they're, if there's a righteous cause in the community, you know it. You know, because they're involved. They're donating to the, you know, to the fire departments and to the little league teams and to, you know, the whatever charity causes and and so there's just so many, um, just so many great values and benefits that uh, those folks who are uh, that are that have a franchise and, and have a small business around it, how they make a contribution to the community. What is one thing uh, you think your constituents might not know about you? Oh boy, um, and things I can tell in a campaign year. Uh, but here's one. Uh, we actually, my family, uh, when, my, uh, uh, when my boys were uh, young, actually they were very young, they were uh, the, uh, the youngest that is now a third year music teacher was not born yet. So my older two boys, which were toddlers at the time and young, um, um, and my wife and I, we actually spent a week as the only people occupying a comfort inn in North Carolina with Leonard Skinner. Wow. Yeah, so Leonard, my kids, <laughs> uh, which is a southern rock band for oh, those yeah. who don't know Leonard Skinner, um, and they were playing uh, concerts all around the, uh, the Triangle area in North Carolina. I was actually uh, taking some graduate courses at the University of North Carolina, summer courses that they had at Chapel Hill. And so my, I wouldn't say my kids were babysat by Leonard Skinner, but they spent quality pool time with them. Wow, that's incredible. That's the best answer I've ever gotten for that. So thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Our Pleasure. members appreciate it, and we'll uh, see you more this year. Well, thank you to you, and thank you to your members. Uh, what the difference that they're making in our communities. They are an economic engine, and... Uh, and greatly appreciate it. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks.